What's up guys, it's David here from PhoneBluff.com and in this video I'm going to be doing a speed comparison test between the iPhone 4S here on the left and the HTC One S here on the right. So this guy has the A5 dual core processor at 800 megahertz and this guy has the 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 processor. Obviously these are two different devices but and two different OS's but I just want to go ahead and test it anyway to see you know what consumers or what you will experience with each device. So the first test is the boot up test. I'll go ahead and press and hold the power button at the same time on both devices. So one, two, three, and I'll hold it for a few seconds, let go, and they're off. So as you can see, the HC One S screen doesn't turn on uh, right away when you press it like the iPhones does. But you know, rest assured, I did press the buttons at the same exact time. So you know, don't think I pressed the iPhones before the One S. Anyways, let's go ahead and see which one loads up the fastest. Alright, so it looks like the iPhone finished up, gives me the lock screen, I'll go ahead and unlock it, and you can see uh, I could actually use the phone. So definitely the winner of this test, the 1S is still loading, showing us the wallpaper now, and uh, the lock screen should come up in just a second or two. Alright, there it is, let's unlock it. You can still see it's loading uh, up those widgets and uh, the apps on the home screen. And uh, anyway, like I said, there are two different OS's. The code is diff written differently, but you know this is more of a matter of seeing, you know, what you will actually experience. You know, I don't really care about, you know, what with one app or one phone multitask like Android, where the iPhone pauses in the background. I mean, yeah, it's an advantage for Android, but at the same time, you know, most consumers aren't going to be aware of that. So I'm just trying to really see, you know, which one is going to feel the fastest. So with that said, let's go ahead and start our first test. We'll do Score Center. Um, will load up at the same time so load up get score center on here um, just to let you guys know I do have the phones on the same Wi-Fi network so we're getting as even of a test as we could get you can see there's no background apps opened up well I guess maps opened up on here I'll go ahead and close out anything any recent apps from the iPhones uh, history and we'll go ahead and open up score center at the same exact time so one two three And uh, in this test, you can see that the iPhone did beat out the 1S. Um, it loaded up first. We'll go ahead and close it out. So we'll give the win for that app to the iPhone. We'll hit close right here. Let's close this guy out from the background just in case. And over here, let's go ahead and close it out. So that way, uh, there's nothing running in the background. We'll go to the next app speed test, which is Flickster. So let me find Flickster on here. There it is. All right, so I'll hit him at the same exact time. One two, three. And um, this loaded an advertisement up. Um, so it wasn't really, uh, I wasn't really able to see which one loaded up first. I'll go ahead and actually try it one more time. So I'll go ahead and close it out. And I'll close it out of the iPhone. So close this guy out. All right, go right back to the app shortcuts and we'll try it one more time. One, two, three. Alright, so as you can see, the iPhone beat out the 1S in this test. Um, not by much. Looks like the first time that 1S was actually going to beat out the iPhone. So, you know what? I just want to be sure that I'm claiming the right one as a winner. We'll just say they're 1 on 1 right now. And I'll close out Score Center, or I'm sorry, uh, Flickster on each phone one more time. And we'll open it up one more time. See if we can get an uh, uh, easy to tell uh, winner. So, we'll go ahead and load up Flickster one last time. Alright, so yeah, the iPhone is definitely the winner of this app speed test. So we'll go ahead and close these guys out. Close them out from the background. Alright. Alright. And let's do that last app speed test, which is Google Earth. And I'll go ahead and tap it at the same time. So one, two, three. So looks like the 1S actually showed up uh, Google Earth first. And uh, it's actually loading it up much faster than the iPhone 4S is. So in this case, the win goes to the 1S. You can also see that the iPhone is still loading up in the notification bar. So I'll go ahead and zoom in and out. Just to kind of show you how smooth the zoom feature is, or the pinch to zoom is, on the 1S. And then now I'll do it on the iPhone 4S. And uh, I mean, honestly, both are really smooth. So you guys can be the judge of which one is better in that department. I'll go ahead and close these guys out again. 
and close it out on the One S. Now I'll go ahead and start up the uh, browser test because this is really the one um, I'm interested in and I'm sure you guys are interested in as well. I clear out the history and cache on both devices so we're going to get a nice even test. Again, we're on the same Wi-Fi network. So for the first website, we'll load up phonebuff.com on each device. So phonebuff.com on here and phonebuff.com on here. All right, so I'll hit go at the same time. So one, two, three. And they're really close right now. And the 1S is done. Now the iPhone's done. So the 1S actually beats the iPhone for us in this initial test. We'll load up an article so we can be sure for a phone buff. So we'll tap this article right here. One, two, three. And again, both devices are off. The One S finished maybe a millisecond before the iPhone 4S. So overall, on phone buff, the One S is faster. But let's go to another site because you know they load up. Uh, you get different results sometimes with different sites. We'll go to NFL.com and we'll do NFL.com on this guy, and we'll tap go at the same time. So one, two, three. And it looks like the 1S has a lead on the iPhone 4S and it's done loading. Now the iPhone 4S is done loading. So again, the winner of this browser test is the iPhone 4, or I'm sorry, the uh, HTC 1S. Let's tap desktop at the same time so we can see the full version of the site. So one, two, three. And I'll go ahead and zoom this guy out while it's loading. And you can see the iPhone 4S actually finished before the 1s did in this case so so far i'll say it's two to one let's load up an article on here so we'll load up this first one the 1s is done and the iphone 4s is still going so they're they about uh, i'd say actually overall the uh the 1s beat out the iphone 4s when it comes to the nfl site and for our final site we'll go to yahoo.com so yahoo.com on here and yahoo.com on here and hit go at the same time so one two three and again the 1s looks like it finished before the iPhone 4s but let's load up the full site so we could get uh, you know or get a better idea as far as which ones uh, the king of browsing so hit desktop at the same time one two three And again, the 1S finished a second before the iPhone 4S did as far as the bar goes. And you can see that the notification bar was still going for the iPhone 4S. So again, I'll give the win to the HTC 1S in this category. We'll load up an article. So we'll load up, uh, we'll do this article right over here. So let me zoom in on here. And we'll tap at the same time, actually. All right, we'll tap this article. One, two, three. And the 1S is done, and now the iPhone 4S is done. So you get the picture. Um, the 1S is definitely faster than the iPhone 4S is uh, when it comes to the browser. So overall, um, you know, like I said, the boot up test, the iPhone 4S beat out the HC 1S. The app test was close. Uh, Google Earth will actually loaded up faster on the 1S, but these other two loaded up faster on the iPhone 4S. And then the browser actually was faster, you know, unanimous, unanimously on the HC 1S than it was on the iPhone 4S. So um, mixed results. Overall, I'd have to say that, you know, the iPhone, or I'm sorry, the HC 1S feels like the faster phone of the two, but you know, obviously you're gonna get great results with either one. So that's it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, hit the like button and subscribe, and don't forget to visit phonebuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thanks.